Welcome back everyone to the Coos Art Museum's online art classes where we bring the art into your home. Today's art project is going to be using some supplies that you might not think about using for art. We're gonna make a really cool collage piece and we're gonna be using scrap pieces of paper. So let's go ahead and jump in to the supply list. I love to repurpose things. If I have something that is going to end up in the trash can, I like to think about how can I use that to create art. Here are a couple pieces of paper that have come from old books that are just falling apart or maybe they've been damaged but a couple of pages are still nice. I have a piece of an old magazine that I kept. I even have some random sheet music that doesn't have all the pages to it, just one page out of all of it. So normally something like this would just be, you know, trash, but we can turn it into some fabulous art. I'm also using a piece of black cardstock. This is going to be the base for my art piece to be glued on. You can use whatever color of paper that you want, but I would recommend something that's a little bit thicker so that it would hold up because we're gonna be gluing and, and uh, doing a lot of stuff on this paper and we want something that's a little bit sturdy. Other supplies you'll need is some scissors to cut with. If you want to cut some really intricate designs or patterns out of your paper, you might want some really fine scissors. I'm going to just use my normal craft ones. You'll need some glue and then whatever you want to embellish your piece with. So for me, I'm going to be adding some color to my paper. So I'm going to be using some markers and color pencils. You could use paints or crayons whatever you have to color or just use the paper itself. A side note for paper suggestions is to find magazines that have a lot of color or pictures on them and when you cut, cut those up you might not see the full picture but you'll see the color that's with that and those can be kind of fun as well. I'm also going to use some gel and metallic pins to add some embellishments at the very end. Once you have all your art supplies gathered together, let's start creating. The first step in creating is to come up with an idea or a design. I actually designed two different pieces. The first one that you see is kind of a forest with a bird. Taking a white chalk pencil, I roughly sketched out the design on my paper so that I can cut out the pieces to match. This is one option. The other option you can do is to draw and create your design directly on the pages that you're going to use and then cut that out and glue it onto your picture. So you'll see with this one, I'm doing an elephant head and doing all the art on that page. And at the end, I'll cut that picture out and then glue it onto the black paper. To add a little extra interest to the picture, I'm going to add color to my pages. Again, there's a lot of different options that you can use to add color. I'm using markers, but I also go in with some colored pencils to darken in a few areas. You can also take regular ink pens and create a pattern or a design that you can put onto the paper. The book page that I'm using actually came from a beat up copy of The Secret Garden. And so that's why I thought it'd be fun to use that page to create kind of a garden scene. And I wanted to put the robin in there. Make sure that if you are using book pages that it's a book that is completely ruined already. We don't recommend taking books that are still usable and ripping them up and creating art with them. This was a book that had water damage and was not was not a happy book anymore. If you don't have a book that is heading for the trash bin, you can always try a newspaper. Once I've added the color to the paper, it's time to cut out the pieces. When assembling this piece, think about layers, the farther back layers you wanna place down first. So I have some trees that are in the background, then I have a branch from the main tree and the bird sitting on that. But you'll even notice that the tail of the bird I have glued underneath the branch. Remember to smear your glue out nice and thin. You don't want super big globs of glue, otherwise it will take forever to dry. And it also can cause your artwork to buckle or bend. Once everything's dry, you can finish up your artwork by adding some embellishments. That's where I use my gel pens and my metallic pens to add a little bit more interest. There are so many things that you can add and do to these pieces to really make them special. Hopefully this will give you a good starting off point. The Coos Art Museum would love to see what artwork you're creating, so make sure to share your artwork with us on social media by using the hashtag CamArtAtHome. We hope that you are enjoying creating art along with us. So until our next online class, stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!